attempted to make a new domino trick. And trying to make anything new or modifying a trick is very difficult. And especially if it's something that requires a lot of dominoes, like the trick that I tried to build. I just wanna walk you through my whole thought process and take you through, you know, what it's like to go through iterations, see something that doesn't work and make slight changes to hopefully improve it one by one and eventually get a successful domino trick. You'll have to watch till the end to see if I actually got it to work. Um, that's up for you to decide. But yeah, let me let me tell you the whole inspiration behind building this trick. So I was always intrigued by the wall back, which if you don't know what that is, it's basically a domino wall that topples. Half of the wall topples on the top and then it goes down and then the second layer underneath that topples. And this is able to work because there's a barrier layer inside the domino wall where there's flat dominoes, which kind of separates the top layer of the wall from the bottom half of the wall. And and I thought, you know, I could do something with this trick. I could innovate on that even further and make something that I don't think anyone else has done before. So it made me think, all right, instead of a typical domino wall that just goes left to right and then right to left on the bottom, why don't I try doing a 2D pyramid one or, you know, have a, a diagonal that goes up rather than just horizontal or, you know, have something that is slanted. So I, I aim to make what I am calling a slanted wall back rather than the normal wall back. And here are some of my tests. So with test number one, I wanted to try something that wasn't, you know, a full 2D pyramid yet because I wanted to just go little by little. So you see here, the diagonal is very, very slight. There's not much of a slope. And when it topples, well, uh, that didn't work at all because the bottom half fell early. Um, I think that's probably a combination of toppling the top wall too close to the edge of the bottom wall you know if i started it maybe like four layers in from the left side perhaps that could have worked additionally the the layer the barrier layer um with the flat dominoes was possibly um you know not enough sometimes you might need an extra layer of dominoes so that led me to test number two where i was getting kind of ambitious um uh, <laughs> i wanted to do the the full 2d pyramid test so the idea is like the blue section will go first so it goes all the way up and then it goes all the way down and then later on the 2d pyramid in the red section would fall so yeah i tried this one but here again the same thing happened the barrier layer didn't work it wasn't strong enough for the blue layer to go on without you know interfering with this red one so this made me think like this barrier layer needs to be like super super strong so we go on to test number three i scaled it back a little bit so it's kind of a half 2d pyramid in a way so what i did was i extended the barrier layer on every layer of the domino wall so you'll see if you like zoom in real close here there are one two three flat dominoes with then two flat dominoes on top so there's like a total of five flat dominoes as a barrier layer which because it's a diagonal a 2d pyramid there's like two levels of barriers because when you jump up to another layer on top there's two flat dominoes of barriers rather than one like a normal wall back so i thought because there's like an extra layer of this like pr protection hopefully it should not interfere with this red section here so let's see this one topple this one, it actually worked. And that was awesome on the third try. I honestly didn't expect that. Don't worry about this tower. That usually happens if, you know, you make the end of a wall a single layer one by one tower. And then over here, this small little section probably didn't fall because there's too much weight on top of it from the barrier layer. And the fact that it's just such a small section of the wall. Sometimes the end sections of a 2D pyramid don't fall. And that's okay. I'd still say that's kind of a success. So because test number three worked and the 2D half pyramid seemed to fall fine going up and then stopping and then go going back around, I wanted to try something where the domino wall would go fully up a domino 2D pyramid or trapezoid and then go back down afterward. So something interesting about what I changed in this test 
is I moved the barrier layer over to the left or the right um, by one domino. Now, what this does is it actually hides the barrier layer even more because within these little window gaps in the structure, now you only see one flat domino rather than two flat dominoes like in the previous test. And this is just so I can hide the barrier layer even more because I feel like it's kind of cool to just see the wall as it is. Like you think it's gonna topple normally like a 2D pyramid or a, a, a just a typical wall, but then you're like, you see the wall fall and only like half of it goes and like goes up, then it goes back around and then the second half falls. It's like, wait, what? I didn't even expect that. But that's kind of why I, I did it. I wanted it to be very normal looking without a lot of extra pieces on top of it. So that's how I changed it in this um, layer. But now the new pieces, will it actually topple the yellow section? Will the yellow section go from the top to the bottom without any hiccups? And let's see. So not quite. <laughs> the blue section worked, which is fantastic. That's good to know, two out of two. Going up the 2D half pyramid, that works. However, what's very interesting is when the domino wall goes down, it can't quite go all the way. You know, we still see this little section at the end, but this really shows as an example that it's hard to topple a wall from the top. Because if you think about the way a domino wall topples, you start typically with the bottom domino because once you trigger the first domino on the ground there's no room for the one on top of that to to go so like you take out one the one on top of that falls which means the one on top of that falls because there's no more support and of course that's how you get the chain reaction of a domino structure but if you do that from the top and there's dominoes falling from the top then you can't knock out the domino that is triggering it which is typically from the bottom unless you make this yellow section really tall as if it were you know like the minimum like nine layer high wall to be safe or something but i just find that very interesting so it made me think all right going down a domino structure is going to be difficult i think i need to make make this layer higher so that it can fall a little bit normally because if this blue section was only one layer that would still work. That would topple all the way from the bottom to the top, but it doesn't work in the opposite direction when you're going down because there's just no support. I don't know if that makes sense, but like if you're toppling it from the top, it's still gonna be connected, so it's just not going to topple. And that leads us to test number five. I wanted to try something a little bit different. I had this crazy idea. What if it goes up like a 2d half pyramid and then it hits a domino line that travels on top of the wall and then goes back down the wall with dominoes literally on the side of the 2d half pyramid and then that triggers the domino line to go around hit this catapult which knocks down the yellow section to go from the bottom to the top and then once it reaches the top those dominoes will fall and hit this white triangle field and then a domino line goes out and then triggers another catapult to knock down this red section. I know, super complicated. Let's find out if it actually worked. So for some reason with this, the barrier layer didn't work, even though it worked in the last test, which like, this happens to me so many times where I'll do a test and it works, and then I try to do it again, and it just like completely doesn't work, and I'm like, what did I do differently? Like, I just, I don't understand this. So yeah, this, for some reason, it didn't work. The, the blue section toppled the red early. However, it did hit the string, which knocked down the line on top of the wall. So yeah, that was a... That was a big fail. I think for this one, I was just like a little bit too optimistic, but you know, you gotta try. So now we're gonna move on to test number six. For this test, I was feeling pretty confident. So I decided to just go all out and make the official screen link clip. So I added the inline, I added the outline, and what we have here is the yellow section that goes all the way up, and now this time I extended the down section so the red should go all the way down. And then we have a, another barrier layer that separates a new dark blue wall, and hopefully this blue section will topple as 
a normal uh, 2D half pyramid. So this is kind of, this is a slanted wall back, but with 2D half pyramids in a way. And let's see if it works. All right, this one was super close, but if we watch this in slow motion, you'll see that the yellow section actually triggered a little bit of the bottom section of the red early, which, you know, that's kind of an imperfection. And I mean, I guess it still like sort of worked in the red section, but it, it's not exactly. It, it kind of like breaks the flow of the whole effect in a way. But then once it starts the blue, there's actually too much weight on top of it from this barrier layer and just random dominoes that may have fallen and caught there so due to that the blue section locks up and that doesn't fall i even threw some dominoes at it but there's just still too much too much weight on top of it i'm like how can i even fix something like that <laughs> i don't know i don't know so for test number seven i did something similar to the previous test except i turned it into a 2d pyramid rather than a 2d half pyramid that kind of came out at the end but you'll see that i actually didn't make it a full 2d pyramid like right here and we're missing a layer that could have gone on top of this red domino at the top of the 2d pyramid but the reason I left out that little layer is because when this orange section falls, I was worried that it could potentially knock down some of the red early, and I didn't want that to happen. So by just not making that layer, there's no chance of it interfering. So let's see if this one works. So as you can see, the middle section actually fell early again. You see right here, this orange, it, you see it fall at the bottom while also at the top at the same time. Kind of ruins the effect in my opinion. There's also this like really weird pause in the red section you see right here. That's because of the weight on top, but eventually it did have enough force to kind of push it through. And this was my first real successful kind of take for the screen link. It did go from one side to the next side without stopping, but it didn't really fall the way that I actually planned, so I decided to build it again. <laughs> I know, this is the perfectionist in me. So now we're on to test number eight, and something that I changed in this test is I made the yellow layer much smaller, because I noticed when I played the previous test in slow motion, I would see that dominoes on top on this yellow section would just slide down the slope of the 2D half pyramid, and actually knock down more of this barrier on the orange in yellow section because there's just dominoes falling on on the top it's weird how they don't just fall straight down but instead they follow the slope of the pyramid and end up knocking down more of the barrier than it is supposed to so i thought with test number eight if i just you know put less layers of dominoes on this first yellow section then maybe you know less dominoes would mean less destruction in this in this barrier and it wouldn't topple early another change i made was i made the slope of this third section this red section much less steep and this is in the hope that with a smaller slope there won't be as much weight on top of it because it's not going up by a, a complete one by one diagonal it, instead it's like a, it has like two layers to kind of build <laughs> in its height does that make sense i'm not sure if i'm making sense but yeah having less slope means that there's less weight on top of it which will hopefully make it easier to fall without that weird pause so let's see if this one works All right, this was a very interesting fall down. Um, you'll actually see that even though the yellow section had less layers, it still made the orange section fall early. You can see down here, it just, it still fell early. And you know, I don't think it's even a matter of 
how many layers I put in the Cielo section. I think it's just the height of the structure because it is, you know, like three or four feet high. Even if it's just one domino, that one domino is going to slide all the way down this diagonal and topple more dominoes in this barrier layer which breaks it and you know we didn't see this with test number three or test number four those were much smaller structures so i think i think it's probably more reliable for a structure that isn't as tall because then the dominoes at the top don't have a chance to slide down the entire thing and knock down more of the barrier this is kind of kind of a mess but also it's still locked up the third section, see here, there's still too much weight, and <sighs> this was unfortunate because the previous test, it still worked all the way through, and now this test, for some reason, didn't, even with a lower slope. So at this point, you know, I was thousands of dominoes later. This leads us to test number nine, and I decided to simplify things. You know, I was getting way ahead of me, and I even drew out a ton of sketches of various ideas I had. Anyways, I decided to scale it back and just do a simple 2D half pyramid. You think it's gonna topple like a 2D half pyramid, but instead, there's actually two sections to it where the first sliver goes up and then the half pyramid topples from right to left. So it's like an opposite sort of um, toppling direction. And this is very similar to test number three, except now it's a full structure. You know, I used a solid color, so you don't really see the differentiation in the pieces going up and then back down. And it kind of hides it. So yeah, let's topple this one. All right, this top one was really confusing. I didn't really know what to say, if it worked or not. Like, you'll see here, the first section, um, it still sort of fell early in the beginning, in a way. It, and it almost looks like it broke through the barrier layer a tad bit early, even in the middle section. Yeah, I don't know what to think about this one. Did it work? Can I use this in the screen link? Or is it just like a weirdly, like, just a weird structure that fell with a delay? Like, I don't... I don't know. I'm not sure what to use for the screen link or if I should try it again, but <sighs> yeah, this is the whole process. This is this is my brain. This is what I went through iterating each time. What, what is important, I think, is that I was just kind of optimistic in trying new things and like knowing that it's going to take a little bit to to get things right. But, you know, I've learned like maybe it's not even possible at the same time. Maybe it is better having a smaller structure so that the first section doesn't interfere with the barrier layer and topple it early. There's so much to think about this and I, I still kind of want to continue with this process um, and perfect it in some way. Um, but at the same time, I, I do need to continue making screen link clips so I can finish this video. So it's possible I might put this on hold. But I hope some of this could help you in your own process when you're making your own domino tricks or, you know, trying to modify a trick that already exists. There's a lot that can go into it and a lot of rewatching things in slow motion to figure out why it didn't work and then you know, adjusting accordingly in the next iteration. If anyone has ideas on how I can solve this problem with, you know, barriers breaking early or, you know, separating the, the sections better so that things don't fall early or the third section not locking up, do let me know in the comments. Um, I'm totally open to ideas and hopefully at some point this trick can become more reliable. So that is my attempt of the slanted wall back. Thank you so much for listening. I know this is a really long video, but I think it's important to kind of give the full details and the context behind what goes into making a domino project. So I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know your thoughts below in the comments. And before I forget, our featured community member is Wandom, who is a Vietnamese domino builder. Go support their channel and subscribe. They're making some awesome stuff. And as always, I'm Lily Hevish and keep on building.